Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Curtis Ghost Corner from PJ Media. PJ Media. I always have a hard time with that. This is a great site if you're a conservative. If you're not, trigger warning alert. Uh, it's, just, it's a feature I didn't know they had until I saw it here. They call it the Instant Insanity Wrap. And this is episode 169. So, but believe me, there's a lot of sinning to go around. It's all over the place. not hard to find. But what's nice about this is the fact they put it all together for you, so it makes it really convenient to breeze through them. Bill de Blasio promises to use NYPD to, to fight thought crime. And Sandy Rep needs to know, when is it police intimidation, not police intimidation? Answer, when they're establishing unity, whether you want it or not. Before we get into sore details, a, f a quick preview of today's rap. White House cracks down on pot smokers, quantum computers, or racist Joe Biden and Percy's Chevy Chase. It's, um, Professor, physics professor wants to ban the term quantum supremacy. Can you guess why? If you need more than one guess, you must be new to insanity. We have to reason, indeed, exactly what you think it is. A new opinion editorial published by Scientific American, co-authored by physics professor. This is real science, physics. Durham is St. Anselm College in Manchester, New Hampshire. It's surprising. Vermont, I would expect it. New Hampshire? Eh. I do the term quantum supremacy. Should be a bad because it shares the word with white supremacy. Oh. Oh. I'm going to do a lot of sound effects on this one. Durham wrote that given the lack of diversity in physics and computing, the use of quantum supremacy can come across as adding insult to injury. Well, we got to. <laughs> the piece suggests the use of quantum primacy instead. By that logic, the progressive left should stop using the phrase anti-racism because it shares racism. And you can read the rest of it there. We'll go to the next one. Because there's quite a few. On the other hand, job security. The world will end soon. This time we swear. <laughs> You might remember last year a study was published arguing that hurricanes were staying stronger longer over land, looking at 1967 and 2018. And there's the headline. Staying stronger and longer over land as oceans warm from climate change, study finds. New study shows that a, a lot... A longer time period, 1900 2019, finds over the period of record that storms are actually weakening faster even after removing outliers. There's no significant linear trend throughout the whole 120-year period. We saved the world. <laughs> oh, excellent. God, wasn't that easy? Craziest person in the world today, Biden. Don't tell me to fill me up with your rules. Remember the song there? And there's, of course, is President Obama when he was quite a bit younger. Which I don't have a problem with smoking weed when he was younger. I could care less. But listen to this. Today's craziest person in the world is anyone still thinking that the culturally intolerant and increasingly doggerating gang of septuagenarians and octogenarians led anything resembling a party of youth. Yeah, no kidding. I'm 64 and I'm young compared to these guys. Democrats, whatever they are, ain't that. Maleducated young people are their shock troops and useful idiots and nothing more. Anyway, Isley Rep couldn't deny you the useful details. Here we go. Dozens of White House, White House staffers have been suspended and asked to resign or placed in a remote work program due to past marijuana use. Wah, wah, wah. Frustrating staffers were pleased by initial indications from the Biden administration that recreational use of cannabis could not be immediately disqualifying for would-be personnel, according to three people familiar with the situation. The policy had been, has even affected staffers whose marijuana use was exclusive to one of the 14 states in the District of Columbia, 
for cannabis is legal. Sources familiar with the matter said a number of young staffers really put on probation or can because they revealed past marijuana use in an official document they filled out as part of the lengthy background check for position in the Biden White House. Uh, in some cases, staffers were informally told by transition higher-ups ahead of formally joining the administration they would likely overlook some past marijuana use only be asked later to resign. Well, you see the rest of the article there. Maybe we can hear some mid-level Biden functionary explain he should have just said no. <laughs> oh, I got to gotta do a laughing. So you can read the rest of that. Let's move on to the next article. Your daily dose of mandated unity. Those who commit hateful but non-criminal conduct should be confronted by the NYPD, de Blasio says. I assure you if any NYPD officer calls or shows up at your door to ask about something you did that makes people think twice, we need that. Well, so if an African-American gentleman puts up a F the police or F whiteness, it is perfectly acceptable for the police to go and try to intimidate him. Folks, this is a thought police. I'm going to I'm going to give it to Spooky. I'm going to give it to Spooky uh, thing here. I'm going to get a double Spooky. Can you imagine? And the, and the sad part is a lot of these police departments are getting it as the younger people come in and they've been they've been brainwashed with this crap since they were in third grade or before even if someone something is not a criminal case a perpetrator being confronted by the city whether it's nypd or another agency like what what the mr rogers uh, uh, uh squad and being told that what they done was very hurtful to another person and could if ever repeated lead to a criminal charges that's another important piece of the puzzle de blasio said you got to be effing kidding me. Officers de Blasio continues should evaluate if someone has done something wrong, even if it's not illegal or criminal, and take action from there. Hey, where's the ACLU? Where's all those guys who used to defend this stupidity? Where are they? Here is the ACLU's uh, response to Mayor de Blasio. Crickets. Oh, God, let's just read the rest. You can read it right there, uh, the rest of it there. But and now for a brief moment of sanity. Oh, no, we don't want that. Your vaccinated kids is, is like a vaccinated grandma. Unvaccinated kid, I should say. And they go on to say that kids are more way less likely to get the COVID-19, so it's okay. They go back to school. Okay, fine. Let's see the next one here. Your daily dose of, of nonsense. Daily briefings. From the White House. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't see that. Oh, there's the video there. <laughs> oh, crap. That's funny. That is hysterical. Here's another damn thing we're supposed to be concerned about. Biden trips three times trying to climb stairs to Air Force One. Now, I'm going to show this even though it's pretty pitiful. And I do feel badly for the guy. He is my president, even though I would never vote for him if he ran out of pose. I mean, where where's the where's the military and where's the security guys in the Secret Service going up the stairs to help this guy? He's 150 years old. Okay, come on. As, as, as the president Biden would say, come on, man. One more thing. This is a great photo, by the way. We shouldn't have laughed, but we did. That's the wrap for today. Come back tomorrow for another Insanity Wrap. So if you want to see a daily Insanity Wrap, go to pjmedia.com. And I love this. This It was white supremacy, and any crime, of course, will fit into that white supremacy category, and there's the media filming it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the young lady has her left hand up and actually has, is that her middle finger going up? So I guess the point is the mattress can fit into the door, and that's any crime. That's the metaphor, and it's white supremacy. So even if it isn't white supremacy, it makes no sense that it's white supremacy, you still call it white supremacy. I get it. 
This is pretty funny, though. It's a great video. First of all, I, think, I hope they're doing this for a goof. As I, hope, I would like to think that any adult that doesn't have any, some kind of mental issue would even consider trying to put that mattress, that box spring, into a four-door. Now, maybe I'm stupid. But there you go, folks. That's the insanity wrap from pjmedia.com. Now, I'm going to have to go to this site a lot more often because this, uh, that's, that's a great picture. I remember that one. And I could care less. He was a kid. Who cares? And by the way, those staffers that got fired from the White House and their openness and inclusion and diversity, these people were smoking marijuana in states in the District of Columbia where, wait for it, it was legal. And now if you're mean to somebody, it's not a crime, but you can still be charged if you do it repeatedly. Oh, my God. How about this crime, Mary de Blasio? You are a freaking moron. M-O-R-O-N. Excuse me. Forgot how to spell moron. Incredible. A crime scene tape. <laughs> anyway, folks, I thought you'd get a kick out of uh, I found this here, and I'll be going to PJ Media quite often now to check out the stupidity on the progressive and leftists in our country. And I have to laugh because if you took it seriously, it would make you cry like a baby. And until next time, folks, goodbye and good luck. <laughs>